Welcome to the hub of analytics education, preparing students for the future millions of records at a time. The hub of analytics education is located in Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Bill Goldman. I'm one of the co-founders of the hub of analytics education. For today's video, we're going to be using Tableau. Tableau is a business intelligence tool that specializes in visualization. Tableau is used by analysts and managers across industries, including, but not limited to, financial services, consumer products, technology, and entertainment. Once you have your desktop copy of Tableau and the sales file from the Hub of Analytics Education, you are set to begin. The objectives of this video are to one, sort data, and two, filter data. Sorting and filtering are very essential skills to have when you're using large data sets. Welcome to this video on Tableau. In the last video that we watched, we saw how we could easily create a graph based on store number and the sales dollars. So in this video, what we're gonna discuss is how to sort information and then how to filter information. So if I sort information, that means that I'm trying to basically order based on a certain variable. So in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna sort each store based on its sales dollars. So in Tableau, this is really easy. There are two different ways I can sort. I can either sort descending from largest to smallest. And as we can see here, store 76 is by far the largest store with over $26 million in sales. And then store 73 has approximately 22.5 million. Or I can go from smallest to biggest, sort of ascending. So here, store three is by far the smallest with sales of only $436,000. All right, so that can be very helpful when I'm trying to focus in on the visualization. Another way you can do it is if you scroll down to where it says sales dollars towards the bottom of the screen, there's a little icon that can be done for you and you can just click on that to scroll through whichever visualization you want. So sorting can be very handy when you're trying to tell a story about data. But perhaps you want to be able to focus in on a handful of stores. And having all 79 stores there is simply too much. It's too much information. So this is where our filter can come into play. So in this situation, let's say that we want to go ahead and filter information based on sales dollars. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to drag the filter, or drag some sales dollars up to the filter mark, and we have a few options here. And we can drag it based on the sales, sales range. We can say it needs to be at least this much, at most this much, and we can go ahead and drag that around. All right, and we can include null values, non-null values, or all values. So null values would be if we didn't have any information there, it would come out to be null. Non-null values would be if we had to have information, and then all values is gonna, is gonna show both. So in this situation, let's say I want to filter my data just to show sales dollars less than 28,885. All right, so that didn't do that much, so that's not a very good filter. Part of the problem here is that we need to convert the type of data we have here. It automatically populates an attribute rather than a sum. So let's say that we want to go ahead and filter the data so that we have stores with at least $15 million in sales. And I can either drag that, that little scroll bar or I can just type it in by clicking in the cell. Click OK. Next thing you know, I can now focus that in. All right, and that's going to be very helpful. If you don't like that list, what you can also do is if you click on down arrow, you can say show filter. And here we have similar options. Again, we can drag it, and Tableau will automatically update what we're looking at. Or if you want, there's also this little triangle in the corner that we can say, okay, what kind of filter do we want? So we can customize our filters, or edit, excuse me, got the right one here for you. And what we can then do is choose what's gonna be best for us. 
and that's going to be your filter. James, I want you to cut the previous filter and start from here. So now what we're going to do is filter. Filtering can be very handy because sometimes there's just too much data to look at. So for example, here we have 79 stores. Well, that's a lot, and it doesn't really fit on the screen very well. And yes, we could adjust our screen to fit all the information, but let's say we want to do a deeper analysis just into a few stores. So what we can do now is if we drag our store variable into our filter card, go ahead and drag that in. What's going to happen is Tableau will ask me which stores do I want to include or I could exclude. So for example, if I just wanted stores, let's say 3, 26, 29, I could just click on those and it's going to just show me those particular stores that we can now do a deeper dive into those three stores alone. Alternatively, if we choose to do it based on some type of condition, so for example, we could say we just want stores that have less than or equal to $10 million in sales. Perhaps there's a reason why they're not doing that well. We could go ahead and apply that condition. And you can see that Tableau spit that out. Or if we want to do greater than $10 million, we could apply that. And you can see which stores are our largest. Or if you simply know that you want the top performing stores or the bottom performing stores, we can just use this this last tab, and now we can say, okay, how do we want to filter this information? So filtering can be very, very handy to give you a deeper dive, and if you have large amounts of data, it will limit what Tableau is actually doing in the background, which will help you uh, speed up your computer processes. So I find filtering to be very, very helpful. And then the last part that I'm going to briefly touch on here is color. So let's go ahead and just remove or edit this filter. And then just show everything here. Let me get rid of this. So let's add a filter. And let's just show them all. So it's perfect. Let's get rid of this. And we click OK. And the last thing that we might want to do is we might want to give some color to this diagram, or this visualization, I should say. So let's say that we want to go ahead and color these stores based on sales quantity. So now what we can do, so we just drop in sales quantity into our color mark. You can see that Tableau is automatically giving different colors to different types of stores based on the sales quantity. I hope you found this video helpful. And please see our other videos if you need more assistance. Thanks for watching the Hub of Analytics Education video series. The Hub of Analytics Education provides open educational resources to educators around the globe, supporting both higher education and secondary education. For more information, please visit our website at hubae.org.